TGIF. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. A uh, quick safety disclaimer before we get going here. So these classes and what I say are not medical advice. Please consult with your healthcare professionals before making changes to your healthcare management plan. This presentation does not represent Parkinson Canada's endorsement of products or treatment related to Parkinson disease. This presentation is meant to provide general information. If you have specific questions about managing Parkinson disease for yourself or others, contact info at parkinson.ca or you can always call 1-800-565-3000. Well, welcome everybody to the at-home workout class number 29. It's pretty fantastic. My name is Lance Latane. I am the events coordinator here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And uh, yes, yeah, so those of you that were tuning in on Monday and Tuesday, uh, yes, the classes were pre-recorded. I had a uh, fishing and camping trip planned with a couple of university chums uh, that I couldn't pass up. So yeah, that was the reason why the pre-recorded class. Um, if you're new to this uh, at-home workout classes or you're new to exercise, congratulations, fantastic. Um, welcome to the class. It's great to have you here. Uh, and I want you to be proud. The hardest steps in, in starting an exercise program is just starting. So if this is your first class uh, or you're new to exercise, congratulations. Really, I totally mean it. That's the toughest part. Um, you're doing what you can to manage your Parkinson's symptoms and to you know, just have that quality of life that you deserve. For those of you that have been sitting in on the classes over the last few months, it's crazy to think that's been months now that we've been doing this. Um, totally impressive. Uh, I want you to make some time for yourself this weekend to reward yourself. So it could be a reward like maybe getting new laces for your sneakers. Uh, maybe it might be taking a picture of yourself after classes when you know you've got you got all the blood running through your body, you look totally alive. And, and maybe share that picture with somebody that really cares about you or that you care about. It could even be something as special as a, as a snack or a meal. Um, just to reward yourself. It's really important that you do those sorts of things. It kind of helps you stay motivated. So yeah, we are looking at the 150 minutes per week. That's a minimum uh, that we're looking at of uh, moderate to uh, vigorous uh, exercise. And this class will take roughly 50 plus minutes long. So it'll be a third of the 150 minutes. Um, and these classes, of course, are, are kept up at, uh, uh, on the Facebook page and on the YouTube cha channel. Um, yeah, again, that, that, that intensity that we're looking at is the moderate to vigorous. Um, benefits of exercise. Well, number one, you'll look and you'll feel marvelous. Who doesn't want to feel that way? Uh, it's also good as we get older, balance becomes an issue. And when we're doing a regular exercise, um, there's cor correlation studies that show that, you know, uh, balance is, is, is better or at least maintained uh, where you're at when you are exercising uh, regularly. If you are a person that's living with Parkinson's disease and bradykinesia is an issue for you, I read uh, correlation studies that you know strength training and some of the cardio training that we're doing here is uh, really going to help uh, recruit more muscle fibers that's going to provide more dopamine and it's going to be able to send the signals back and forth, uh, which is what the, the issue is with, with Parkinson's disease. Automaticity, that's another... Uh, I read some, some studies that uh, talked about... Um, you know, when I'm talking about like automaticity, like... You'll start off strong, uh, but then eventually, or maybe faster than eventually, uh, you'll get into that sort of Parkinson shuffle where things just kind of slow down. Um, some regular exercise can really help with that. And that could be listening to music while you're exercising and maybe finding so many beats per minute. If you, if you have Apple Music or if you have Spotify or another streaming service, Get your grandkids to help out. Uh, find uh, music that uh, is 60 beats, 70 beats, 80 beats per minute. Uh, finding that comfort zone. Um, but, you know, 
more than your comfort zone, kind of pushing yourself. Um, yeah, definitely your grandkids know how to find. There's whole playlists just dedicated to beats per minute. Uh, so yeah, get your grandkids to help you out with that. Uh, walking with a buddy. You know, a buddy kind of keeping on encouraging you to, um, to keep up. Uh, or I've even heard of apps that are, are, are metronome where it's a tick, tock, tick, tock. So that constant tick tock reminding you to take a step every time you hear the tick tock. Uh, really helping out uh, just um, slow down that, uh, that, uh, that shuffle that can sometimes overtake. Uh, some shout outs. We have a lot of shout outs. We had heard from a lot of people this week. First and foremost, Joan and Ken. Great talking with you last night. Uh, Jean and Don, they're all the way down in Florida. Uh, Parkinson Canada, au Quebec. Uh, and Neuro Challenge Foundation. They're based out of uh, Sarasota, Florida. And they've turned on uh, Don and, and, and Jean uh, to our Parkinson, uh, our at-home workout classes here with Parkinson Canada. And if there's anybody else that's uh, been tuned turned on to these classes uh, by the Neuro Challenge, uh, just let me know. It'd be great to talk with you. Uh, we have Irene. Irene, I know from Stepping Up With Confidence. We have Susan, Nathan, my mom, uh, Anne, uh, Judy, Brenda, Maureen, Valerie, Pete, Susan, Manon, Becky Jo, Brenda, Audrey, my neighbor, Lise, Ruth, Haley, Gabriella, Trudy, Krista, Haley, Jan, Lorinda, Cheryl, Donna, Karen, Monique, and Doug, Robert, Betty and Rick, Hymina, and Jackie, and I hope I didn't forget Ruth. Hi guys, this is your big shout out. Okay, so let's get ready for our class here. So today, yes, you will need some, some soup cans, or if you have hand weights, you can use those as well. You can get away using the TheraBands. I don't have mine on me today, so I won't be able to demonstrate using it. Um, or if you don't have anything, that's fine. We can just use gravity. But we'll get to that when we get into our, our strength training uh, part of the class here. So I'm gonna back up my chair, making sure that my work area, my workout area is nice and safe, so that if I was to fall, I'm not gonna be hitting my head on anything. So I'd like you to do the same thing. Uh, for those of you that are standing, yeah, just make sure that you're wearing proper footwear. Ideally, if you could have some runners that are laced up or velcroed up, that's, uh, that's great. Um, if you're wearing flip-flops or sandals, I would maybe take those off. Those are a bit of a hazard, and I would go barefoot or in your socks. Uh, but definitely, first choice would be wearing some well-fitted shoes. Okay, so today we're going to start off just a little bit different. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes sitting up nice and straight or standing up nice and straight closing your eyes thinking about how you feel right now not this morning not yesterday right now eyes closed feeling centered connected feeling grateful feeling grateful that you're able to be here you're able to participate Okay, opening our eyes. We're gonna do three breaths in, raising our hands above our heads. So we're breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. Here we go. And breathe it out. Big breath in. And out. So this next breath will be your largest breath of the day. Big breath in. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and breathe it out. All right, I think I gotta lose my hoodie. It's already a bit too toasty down here. Okay, from here, we know what we typically do. We're gonna do our slap, clap, snap. So we're gonna be slapping our thighs five times, clapping our hands five times, snapping our fingers five times. So we're going five down to one and back to five. Ready, gang? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 
One, two. Ones. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right, okay, so part of the warm-up, part of it is getting our brain ready to follow some directions, getting our body cued for the exercise that's gonna come up ahead here. So from here, let's go to some shoulder rotations, both shoulders at the same time, let's roll them backwards. Sit up nice and straight or stand up nice and straight, rolling our shoulders backwards. And how about we roll them forward? Okay, now we're going to switch to some arm swings, one side and the next. Try and bring your hands up to shoulder height if you can. For those of you that want to stand up, that's fantastic. One side and the next. Now we're just going to do one arm right across your body, nice, slow and controlled. The warm up, we're just slowly building our heart rate up. Our breathing rate's gonna get a little bit faster, a little bit deeper. Now let's do both arms. And let's do just the other arm now. Feeling good. Okay, from here we're gonna do hands on our hips. We're just gonna do stationary toe taps, one foot at a time, tapping your toe. Tap, 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 tapping your toe. Remember to sit up nice and straight. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's pull our shoulders back and let's tap our heel. Tap, 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 tapping your heel. Okay, from here we're going to tap our other toe on our other foot. Again, we're slowly getting our body built up for exercise from the cardio section here, or cardiovascular, and tap your heel. Okay, from here we're gonna do some heel taps out in front. So heel out in front and back, other foot, out and back, out and back, out and back. All right, so when we get into our cardio section, we're going to be looking between 15 to 20 minutes of steady state exercise. So we'll be con moving continuously for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you need to take a break anywhere along, by all means, it's not a competition. So take a break. You can either slow down. Ideally, try not to stop. Try and keep on moving. Not only because it's, it's better to keep on moving, but also it's going to be less of a... Uh, less of a shock for your heart. So if you're exercising pretty hard, then all of a sudden you stop, uh, that is a bit of a, a jolt for your heart that we'd rather do without. Okay, so we'll stop. Now would be a great time to have a sip of water if you have a water bottle around. Just make sure you put it away safely uh, so it's not gonna be a tripping hazard for yourself. And for those of you that are standing up, again, just make sure the area is nice and safe for you. I'm going to try and demonstrate everything today, both from a seated position and a standing position. So if I get up in the middle of an exercise, uh, don't feel the need to have to get up. Um, or if I sit down in the middle of an exercise, don't feel the need to have to sit down. Just do what's best for you. Okay, let's begin with the march. So march, march. Okay, so how are you feeling today? If you're feeling up to exercising, that's awesome. If you're not quite sure that now is the best time for you, again, these classes are all recorded, so you can come back and check them whenever is best for you. Uh, we're on the uh, Parkinson Canada Manitoba Facebook group page, so these classes are live streamed there, and they're also left as a recording there. And then, of course, we're also found on the Parkinson Canada YouTube channel, and if you uh, want, you can become, you can subscribe to the Parkinson Canada YouTube channel. Give us the old thumbs up. Any comments or questions you have are gladly welcome. I love hearing from you guys. 
and uh, I'm trying pretty hard to try and stay in touch with everybody. So if you can give a shout out to me, I'll make sure I reach out to you. Okay, so it's at our arms. March, 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 March. March, 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 March. Great big smiles. Okay, so we can make this a little bit more intense. One way is by picking up the pace, so going faster. Or we can have larger movements. So that's what we're going to try and do right now. Some larger movements. We're going to go with some high knees. Ready, gang? Here we go. Up and up. Up and up. Up and up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, march it out. Ball marching. How was that for you? My beard's getting all itchy here. Started growing a beard when I went fishing. I might shave it off. Depends how itchy it gets. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. So we try some high knees again? All right. Here we go. Up and up. And up, high knee, and up, up, and up. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, march it out. I'm going to stand up for a bit now, like I said. I'll be standing up and sitting down a fair bit. Don't feel the need to have to do the same. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. Okay, so yes, we did the larger movements, which is tougher for our body to do. Now we're going to go a little bit faster. So that's what we're going to work on now is our pace. March, 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 march. All right, so here we go. We're going to pick it up. Here we go. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. Keep on smiling. Doing well. March, 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 march. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, march it in. Slowing it down. All right, so a bit of a roller coaster today. We're going up, and then we're going to go down, but we're going to keep on going up. We're going to try and get our heart rate nice, nice and high where we need it to be at that vigorous level. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. Ready for another little pace, pace increase? All right, here we go. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four three come on gang two and one all right slow it down okay so now we're going to bring it bring our steps wide and narrow here we go wide wide narrow narrow wide wide narrow narrow wide wide narrow narrow wide wide i'm going to slow it down a bit wide wide narrow Wide, wide, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow. Okay, if you think you could go a little bit faster than this, by all means, you can go faster than this. Don't let me slow you down. I'm just trying to make sure I'm meeting everybody's needs. Some people have a little harder time moving, 
or they're not feeling as strong as they'd like to feel. But they can still do things just at a slower rate. So I want to make sure that I'm touching base with you guys. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow. Now let's keep it wide. Wide, 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 wide. Keep it wide. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it narrow. How was that? Okay, march, 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 march. We're going to go wide again. Here we go. Wide, 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 wide. Keep it wide. Wide, 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 wide. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it together. One more time. We're going to go do the wide, narrow, wide, narrow. So we're going to be alternating. Finish up our marching here. Here we go. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, march it narrow. All right, so from here, what we're going to transition into is some step touches. Again, I'm going to start doing these from a seated position, but I'm going to end up doing them from a standing position. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. And no arms, just our legs. So we're going to do some step touches to the side, and then we're eventually going to do some step touches to the front. Then we're going to do a step together, step both side and front. So let's just for, focus on our legs from now. So it's going to be step together, step together, step together, step together, step and step, step and step. Okay, should we add some arms? You can probably hear me breathing a little bit deeper. Okay, arms in. Here we go. Bring your hands up to shoulder height if you can. For those of you that need a more difficult, more challenging workout, you can bring your hands up to shoulder height. Or you can even have your hands up above your head. Whatever is best for you is best for me. I, myself, am going to have my arms down low. Step. Together, step, together, step, together, step, together, one arm. Now we're going to do the other arm. Step, together, step, together, step, together, step, together, both arms. Step, together. All right, so how about we try and pick up the pace a little bit. Sounds good? Okay, here we go. Step together, step together, step together. Step. If that's too much for you, you don't have to keep up. You can go a little bit slower. Step together, step. Step together, step. Okay, so... That's our side, no arms, just our legs. Step together, step together. How about we try and make this going forward if we can. Sounds good, it's gonna look like this. Step together, step together. Front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Front, front. Should we add some arms? Front, back. Front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Or if you just want to do front, front, back, front, front, front back. That works too. Back, back, front, 
front, back, front, front, back and back, back and back, front, 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 back and back. No arms, just our legs. Back and back, front, front, back and back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We're going to do side to sides. Here we go. Side. Step together. Step together. Step. Okay. So from here, without our arms, step. Step together. Step. Okay, so we're going to try the step together, step touches. This can be done from a seated position. I'm going to demonstrate standing up, but I'm going to do them sitting down. The only difference if you're sitting down is that you're going to have smaller steps. But if you are standing up doing this, by all means you can keep your stride length the same, or you can make it bigger, whatever is best for you. No arms, we're just going to do the legs. And here we go. Step together, step and touch. Step together step and touch together step and touch i'm going to do it from a seated position keep on standing if you're standing step together step and touch together and touch so yes from a seated position it's going to be smaller steps but by all means you can squeeze it in step and touch so when we're learning all these new movement patterns that's fantastic so our nervous system is working with our muscular system. So we're creating some nice, hopefully new pathways for nerves that are developing and growing. And we have our muscles that are growing, creating a little bit more dopamine available, hopefully, to help conduct those impulses. Touch, step together, step and touch. And yeah, like I mentioned before, there's uh, some more transporters for dopamine uh, that are also being made available. Those are done on animal studies though, but it looks pretty promising for it uh, being the same for us humans. Step together, step and touch. Four. Three, two, and one. Just step together now. Step together, step together, step together. If you're sitting down, let's think of your posture, sitting up nice and straight. Let's pull your shoulders back. Let's get a great big smile on our face. Step together, step. Okay, so we're going to try and do the step together, step touch, going forward and backwards. So if you're a little bit concerned about your balance when we're doing these sorts of things and you're standing while doing them, it's a good idea to have uh, to be standing near a wall so that at least you can have one hand on the wall to help stabilize yourself. Or if you have a couch that you can hang on to, that would work too, or a group of chairs. But if you are concerned about your balance, this can all be done from a seated position. Okay, so... We're going to change from a side to a front. Here we go. Step forward, forward, back and back. Forward, forward, back and back. So we're going to be building off of this. We're going to be doing forward, 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 back and back if you're with me. Okay. Just follow my lead. I'm going to do this from a standing position. So I'm going forward, 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 back, back. Back and back, forward, 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 back, back and back. forward, 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 back, back, back and back. Okay, we got this movement movement pattern down. Should we add our arms? Forward, forward, back, back, back and back, forward, 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 back, back. 
back and back forward 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 so yeah just trying to change things up a little bit again we're learning that's what we want forward 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 back 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 and back creating those new pathways keeping it fresh forward forward back 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 and back last one forward forward back 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 and back okay march it out okay we have a few more minutes here we're going for that 20 minute mark today march 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 and march 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 and march okay so we're going to pick up the pace a little bit we're going to finish off here with a nice bang here we go march 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 and march 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 and march 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowing it down march 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 and march so slower march we're going to do some wides and some narrows finish it off with that here we go wide wide narrow narrow wide 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 four three two and one all right marching slow now, all right so we've just finished our warm-up we finished our cardio now we're getting into our cardio cool down and the cardio cool down is very important as we get older like i mentioned earlier on we just don't want to stop exercising because that's going to be a real shock to our heart so we're going to try and slow things down lowering our heart rate lowering our breathing rate making sure all that oxygenated blood that's gone to our our big muscles in our legs is going to get distributed to all all the far all our little fingers our toes most importantly our brains march 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 and march okay so let's bring it wide slowing it down okay feet nice and wide if you're standing if you're sitting down sitting up nice and straight we're going to pick some apples you're going to reach across your body grab that apple pull it down put it in the basket reaching across your body pulling it down putting it in the basket Cross and down. Cross. If it hurts too much for you to raise your hand above your head, by all means, you can just reach out in front of you. That'll work too. I know those things as we get older, eh? Don't get to move quite like you want to move. Lots of little pains. It's like a little injury fairy kind of. You go to bed. You wake up and you got some something sore. The engineer fairy just came along and touched you with their wand. All of a sudden, you've got sore shoulders. Or you've got a sore back. Dang that injury fairy. All right, so from here, bring our arms down. We're gonna do some heel taps in front. So heel out and back. Again, very slow and purposeful for this section of our class here. What we're trying to do is lower our heart rate in a nice gentle fashion lowering our breathing rate probably feeling pretty good right now out and back and out and back four three two and one okay standing still now we're going to swing our arms from side to side and as we swing our arms from side to side when you reach the top i want you to make a fist make a fist swing and make a fist so we're doing fist exercises at the same time making that fist working on our grip strength 
slowing it down even more so, bringing your heart rate down further. Very purposeful, nice and controlled. Swing and fist. Swing and fist. Okay, from here we're going to transition into some stationary toe taps, one foot at a time. We're going to tap your toe. Tap, 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 and tap. Tap, 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 and tap. Uh, let's do our heels now. Same leg, one leg at a time. Tap, 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 and tap. Tap, 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 and tap. Other leg, toe tapping. So yes, I had such a nice, lovely conversations last night with people. We were making some phone calls for the upcoming Parkinson Canada Super Walk. Let's do our heels. Uh, just doing, I guess they're considered stewardship calls, just wanting to remind people that the super walk is still proceeding for this year, 2020. It's going to be a virtual walk here in Manitoba. So walking with family and friends. And there were so many great conversations I had with people. I want to thank you uh, for all the great feedback that you gave me. And uh, it, was, uh, it was really nice to hear that some of you are watching these classes. You might not be commenting on the classes, so I don't know if you're watching or not. But in talking with a few select folks last night, you know who you are. I now know that you're watching the classes, that you are participating. Some of you are watching them on Facebook. And some of you are watching them on the Parkinson Canada YouTube channel. It's all, all good. Okay, so we're going to stop now. For those of you that need to have a sip of water, now is the best time to go grab that water bottle. Have a nice big slurp or two. Just make sure you put it away nice and safely. Uh, so we're going to be working on our strength uh, component here of our exercise class. Again, you're going to need some soup cans, or I've got my big cocoa cans. Um, if you have some hand weights, you can use those. If you have TheraBands or resistance bands, you can use that. If you don't have anything, that's okay. We can just work with gravity. Okay, speaking of gravity, the first thing we're going to do is the hardest thing of our entire class here. We're going to be doing our sit to stand. So you will need a chair. I will need you to sit up nice and straight, shoulders back. Feet are definitely wider than your shoulders. And we're going to be sitting down and we're going to be going to a standing position and sitting back down. If you need to use your armrest, that's okay with me. If you don't have to use them, I try not to use them. If you can only stand up that much, if you can only stand up like an inch or two inches, that's okay. That's awesome, actually. You're probably working harder than anybody else. And I admire that. Um, it's, it's all good. Exercise is great. Okay, we're going to be standing six separate times. Here we go. Here's one. And down. Here's two. And when you're sitting down, shoot your butt back so you don't miss that chair. This is three. And here's four. This is five. This is tough work. So if you can only do one or two or three, that's okay. Last one, six. Like I said, people, if you can only go up this much, I know you're working as hard as you can. And I think that's awesome. If you can only do two or three and you did it as best you can, again, I think that's fantastic. And I, I congratulate you on doing as many as you could do. Okay, so from our sit to stands, we're going to be doing a knee raise and extension. So I'm going to demonstrate these sitting down, but I'm going to do them standing up. So from a seated position, looks like this, sitting up nice and straight. I'm raising my knee up. I'm pointing, kicking my left foot out, back, and down. We're going to do four each leg. From a standing position, it'll look a little bit different, but it's exactly working the same muscle groups. So I'm bringing my knee up. Out, back, and down. All right, we're doing four each leg, gang. Here we go. Up, out, back, and down. That's one same leg. Up, out, back, and down. That's two. This is three. Out, back, and down. Here's last one, out, back, 
and down. What we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. We always like to have a nice balance here. So again, I'm hanging on to the chair for a little bit of stability. You can also hang on to a wall. Let's just think of our posture. We're raising our knee up, out, back, and down. That's one. Out, back, and down. That's two. Up, out, back, and down. Last one. Up, out, back, and down. Whew, it's a tough class, isn't it? Okay, so from here we're going to do some calf raises. I'm going to demonstrate these from a standing position, but I'm going to do them from a seated position. So I'm standing, I'm hanging on to a chair. You can also hang on to your chair with two hands if you want, just for a little bit of extra stability. Feet are wider than your shoulders. We're going up on our toes for a count of three, then we're going down for a count of three. So it's one, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. So that's what it looks like from the standing position. If you're sitting down, hello, Mr. Spider in my basement. If you're sit, it's the same thing. We're just going up on our toes for a count of three, then down for a count of three. So we're going to do six here, gang. Here we go. One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. That's two. This is three. And down. Halfway done. Here's four. And down. One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. Last one. Up. And down. Down. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is a straight leg raise. So uh, from a seated position, I'm going to demonstrate for sitting down, but I'm going to do them standing up. I'm sticking one leg out in front of pointing my toe. I'm raising my leg up for a count of three. And down for a count of three. That's tough. It's actually harder to do sitting down than it is standing up. So from a standing position, it's going to be the same thing. We're doing four each leg. Foot up front. Pointing my toe, one, two, three, up, three, two, one, down. That's one, hanging on to my chair, up, and down. That's two, halfway done, up, and down. Last one, one, two, three, up, three, two, one down, other leg. Here we go, hanging on to our chair. We're going up, two, three, and down, two, three. That's one. One, two, three, up. Halfway there. Come on, this is three. I know it's actually four. <laughs> and down, last one. One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. All right. So now is the time that we're going to be using our cans of soup or your hand weights or your cocoa cans like I have. Um, if you don't have anything, that's fine. Or if you have TheraBends or surgical tubing, uh, you can use that. I don't have mine here today, so I won't be able to demonstrate. So we're going to be doing some sidearm raises and some straight uh, front raises. So... I'm sitting down, shoulders are back. I've got a can in each hand here. So I have, my palms are facing my body. I'm gonna be raising the pants up like this, shoulder height, and down. Again, slow and controlled. That's what we're looking for. We're doing strength training. That's way better to do it from a nice slow, slow and control sort of movement as opposed to fast. We're getting more muscles uh, that are kind of being ripped and then growth is happening. So we're going to do six. Here we go. One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. That's one. This is two. Shoulder height if you can. If you can't go shoulder height, that's okay. One, two, three, up. But try and not go beyond your shoulders. 
One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. Two more, gang. Two more. Here we go. Up. And down. Last one. Up. And down. All right. You guys are doing fantastic. Great. Okay, so now we're going to go forward. So, again, I've got my palms, i got the my outside of my hands facing outwards, the palms facing my body here. I'm going to be raising my hands up to shoulder height, hanging on to my cocoa can with your hand weights. Here you go. One, two, three. Up. Three, two, one. Down. One, two, three. Up. So the next time we go up, let's try and breathe out through our mouth. Up. Breathe in through your nose. Out. And down. Two more. One, two, three. Up. Three, two, one. Down. Last one. Here we go. One, two, three, up, three, two, one, down. Woo! Getting sweaty in here. Okay, so that's it for our strength uh, conditioning here. Now we're going to be working on our balance. So for those of you that uh, are able to work on your balance and do it from a standing position, just make sure the area is safe around here. The first thing that we're going to do is a little bit of rocking. I'm going to do it from a side shot so you get to see the profile. So I've got my feet wider than my shoulders. I'm going to be putting one foot out in front and one foot stays where it was. Again, feet are nice and wide, so we've got a nice solid foundation. I'm going to be forward and back. So if you want to hang on to a chair or a wall, by all means you can do that. It will offer you that stability. Forward and back. Again, our brain is processing all this information making all those little micro adjustments so that we can keep our balance here. So the more that we can work on this, the better it is. I know we don't want to fall. It's a domino effect. So going forward and back. Okay, leg side by side now, wider than shoulder. We're going to stick the other leg out in front. So when I talked about the domino effect, we're going to go forward and back. Not only does it seem to be a, a correlation with, you know, it's a domino effect on one's health, but also hard on your confidence. If you've fallen, like I know I was talking with my mom and she took a uh, fall, I think it was last week, and it rattles you a little bit, and understandably so. Nobody wants to fall. Go forward and back. Forward. And back. Okay, so that's it for our rocking. We're now going to work on shifting our weight from side to side. Feet are wider than shoulder. I'm going to lean this side. So I'm leaning on one toe. Other foot is nice and flat on the ground. You can hang on to a chair if you have a wall. Sticking out your arms does help a lot too. Holding it there. Okay, what we do to one side, we do to the other. For those of you that need the extra challenge, you could always bring your foot up off the ground. For everybody else, you can keep a toe on the ground. It's not a competition. This is just about you. Okay, we're going to do one more time. Each side, shifting our weight. Again, our brain is processing all this information. Speaking to our muscles, making those micro adjustments so that you retain your balance. Last time, other side. Let's get a nice big smile on our face. We're almost done. We deserve a smile. Okay, so now we're going to do a raised knee. We're going to raise one leg up, holding a knee at about a 90 degree angle. I'm hanging on to a chair for some stability, but if you want to, you can go with no hands. Whatever is best for you. You can hang on to the chair or the wall. And down. What we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. 
Again, just try and bring your knee so that it's at a 90 degree angle with your hip here. In line with your hip. Again, for those of you that need an extra challenge, or you can even close one eye, you can close both eyes. A little bit harder with both eyes closed. And down. All right. We're going to finish off our balance training with a little bit of line walking here, a little Johnny Cash. One foot in front of the other. And pretend there's an imaginary line in front of you. You're going to be following that, placing one foot in front of the other. If you want, you can have a hand on the wall for some stability. Forward. And now we're going to walk backwards. All the way back. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to go forward. Walking that imaginary line. Again, the more we work at this, the better it's going to be. Because our brain, like I said, is processing all this information. Okay, that's it for our balance training. So now we're going to transition into our flexibility. So you can do this from a standing position or a seated position. I'm going to do it from a seated position. We're going to do a nice big chest stretch first. So bring your arms out nice and wide. Hands about shoulder height. If that hurts too much, you can drop your hands. Oh, just stretching your chest. Just hold it there. And we're going to bring one arm across. We're going to scoop up. Grab your elbow and you're going to pull your elbow in. So you should feel the stretch along the top side of the back side of your arm. Top side, back side. So keep your posture. Let's get a nice big smile on our face. Let a nice big chest stretch. Bring your arms out nice and wide. Holding it there. Uh, let's bring the other arm across. Swooping up, grabbing your elbow. Pulling your arm in tight. Feel the stretch along the top side, back side of your arm. I have some nerve damage on the left side of my uh, of my body. So this feels really, really good for me to be uh, stretching like this. Okay, last big chest stretch. Oh yeah, it feels good. Okay, arms down. Now we're going to stretch our hamstrings. I'm going to do it from a close side shot here so you see what I'm doing. Sticking one leg out. Big breath in. Leaning forward. So I'm leaning forward, not down. You should feel the stretch along the top side, back side of your leg. Great big smile. Head held high, continuing to breathe. Definitely very important to keep our head above the level of our heart here. We have been exercising. Oh, that feels good, good, good. And back, sitting up nice and straight. Taking the other leg out. Leaning forward, breathe out. Continuing to breathe. It takes a while for that stretch reflex to kind of kick in. So your brain is processing all this information. The longer you hold it, the better it's going to be. Your muscles will slowly stretch out. One good thing about uh, working on your flexibility is your body reacts pretty fast at, uh, to some training here. And back. Yeah, if you're living with pain, stretching is really a, a, an ideal exercise to be doing to help manage the pain. You can have some full range of motion in the joints. Okay, now we're just going to stretch out our calves, end it off. So I'm sticking one leg out, I'm pointing, bringing my toe back towards my body. Oh, that feels good. I'm going to do the other leg. If you struggle with cramps, especially at night when you're sleeping, I, def I would suggest you drinking a lot of water first and foremost. It's good to have some potassium in your, in your diet. So you get potassium so you're like starchy food like say bananas, plantains, potatoes are uh, are high. Okay. All right. And stretching your legs like that too will help out. 
Now we're going to finish off with a few Parkinson's specific exercises here. Let's start off with just putting our chin to our chest nice and slow and controlled. Bringing your chin down, holding it there. Mm. Head back to a neutral position. Now we're going to put this ear down to this shoulder or as far as you can. Nice, slow, gentle stretch. You should feel the stretch along the side. Mmm. That does feel good. Head back to neutral. Now we're going to go to the other side. Nice and controlled, nice and slow. Okay, now we're going to stretch out our wrists here. So we're going to put your hand on your fingers and you're going to pull your fingers back. Feel that stretch in your forearms. Feels good, good, good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now we're going to go down. What we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. Holding the stretch. Mmm, mmm. That feels good. Now we're going to go down. All right, from here we're gonna work on our jaw. So we're gonna try and open our mouth as wide as we can. These are the muscles that are used with chewing our food. So we're gonna try and keep them nice and, and supple, keep them nice and stretched, opening up nice and wide. And relax, we're gonna try this into a big smile. Big, big smile. Stretching those little muscles in our face. Open up nice and wide. Mm -hmm. And now do a big smile. Okay, now we're going to work on our tongue again. This is not, not exercise, this is not the sexiest thing, but it's real and it works and it helps us. And that's why we're here. That's why we're doing these classes. If you're living with Parkinson's disease, you're probably aware of some of these exercises. And we got to stay at it. So we're going to stick out our tongue down, and we're going to stick our tongue up, and then we're going to stick our tongue that way, and then we're going to stick our tongue that way. Here we go, out and down. Relax. Now we're going to go out and up. Now we're going to go down sideways. Now we're going to go this way. Now we're going to finish off with a few side cheek stretches. So placing the palm of your hand against the side of your, your cheek here. You're going to be pulling back and up. Stretching those fine facial muscles are responsible for stopping us from drooling. Hold that stretch. Working on that Parkinson mask. What we do to one side, we're going to do to the other. Hand against your cheek. Pulling back and up. And relax. And we're going to finish off today's class by just closing your eyes. Feeling centered, feeling fantastic. You've just completed your class here. The day ahead, the evening ahead, it's all good. Opening our eyes. There we go. So I will be back here on Monday. Tuesday and Friday next week, same time for the live broadcast. That's 1.30 Central Time on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. These classes are, are, are recorded and are kept up on the Parkinson Canada Manitoba Facebook group page. Wow, that's a mouthful. And um, so you can access them there. 
or you can also find them on the Parkinson Canada YouTube channel. And again, all the classes are posted up over there. As soon as these classes are done, I, I ship them over to uh, Chelsea in Toronto, and, and Chelsea is uh, taking care of the YouTube channels. So with that, I really want to thank you for participating today. Loved hearing from Don and Jean. Loved hearing from Joan and Ken last night. Um, yeah, so by all means, get a hold of me, and I'm going to try and get back to you. Have a great weekend, gang. We'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.